All right, so I'm going to um, switch data packs between two Dribbles. So I've got the Dribble on the right here, which is a USB-only Dribble. It's a first-generation Dribble. And I've got the Dribble on the left here, which is a second-generation Dribble, a USB plus firewire Dribble. So I've already shut them down using uh, the instructions from the Dribble website. You've got to look it up uh, and follow them carefully, otherwise you might run into data corruption issues. It's called, How Do I Safely Shut Down My Drobo? You go to the support section on the Drobo website, and uh, you look at the FAQs there. You can also search, just simply search for, How Do I Safely Shut Down My Drobo? And you'll, you'll get that uh, tech note. Uh, so I've shut them down using the Drobo dashboard. I put them both in standby, remove the USB and firewire cables, remove the, the power cables as well. And uh, the next thing then is to switch the data pack. So I'm going to take the data pack out of the, uh, out of the first generation Drobo right here. And I'm going to stick it into the second generation Drobo right here. So they're both off, power is off, and you've got to be really careful about that. And there's also another tech note that you want to read through. It's called, can I move my disk pack from one Drobo storage device to another? You've got to be really careful because if you, if you move them the wrong way, the data might get deleted or the drives might get formatted. So you, you want to read through these carefully, see if you can do it. Otherwise, do it the slower but safer way, which would be to copy the data from one Drobo to another or put it onto another hard drive first and then copy it to the new Drobo, right? So, um, you know, it says in this tech note right here on the Drobo website that uh, you can move data from a first generation Drobo to a second generation Drobo, which is what I'm doing now. And it also says uh, lower down the page, disk packs are only interchangeable between first generation and second generation Drobo devices if they're running the same firmware version, which is the case. Uh, for me. I'm running the latest firmware on both my Drobos, 1.6.8, the latest Drobo dashboard as well. So I should be able to safely interchange the Drobo packs between the two. But just to play it safe, I'm only going to first switch this pack from the first generation Drobo to the second generation Drobo. See how that does. Um, and uh, because I do have this data partly backed up somewhere else, so I hope nothing bad happens. So yeah, this is the first time I'm doing it. Let's hope uh, everything goes according to plan, right? So, remove the drive pack. Okay, that's the drive pack. I'm gonna stick into that one over there. Let me take that drive pack out. This is the drive pack that I'm going to stick in there. I've got uh, two WD hard drives, Western Digital hard drives, and two Seagate hard drives. So it doesn't really matter what order you put them in. You know, the important thing is to have the whole drive pack stuck back in. So I'm going to uh, start sliding them in. There we go, and they snap into place nicely. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Now those are in. The faceplate is on. I'm not going to put the drives into this one first. I'm kind of afraid because I've got. Uh, you know, I really want to make sure that the data doesn't get wiped from this drive pack if I stick it from a from a second generation Drobo into a first generation Drobo, right? Even though it says they're interchangeable, you know, I don't have the data from this drive pack backed up. So I'm going to send off an email to Drobo support first just to make sure because I don't want to screw up. If I lose this data, I'm going to be crying and uh, I don't want to cry. So, you know, you don't want to see a grown man cry. That's not fun. So I'm going to email them first and see what happens, right? But now let's, uh, let's uh, test it out. So I've um, plugged it in and I've connected it to my computer and I'm happy to say that uh, it works. I haven't lost any of my data. It works just fine. Awesome. So here's the trouble. It shows on my, my computer just fine. So this is the disk pack from the USB Drobo. I've now put it in the FireWire Drobo. And it works just great. It's wonderful. So, yeah. 
There we go. The firmware is uh, 1.3.6, Turbo Dashboard 1.6.8. Okay. So that's good. And there it is on my desktop right there. Great. So I filed a ticket with Data Robotics as I uh, promised I would. And they've gotten back to me. See, Valerie from Data Robotics said that uh, as long as both Drobos are the same firmware version, this will work. Please be sure to remove the drives while Drobo is powered off. Then insert them into the other Drobo with that unit powered off. So that's what I've done. I have the, day, the, 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 drive, the drive pack uh, here right next to me on the desk. And it was removed from the second generation Drobo while it was powered off. Now I'm going to put it into the first generation Drobo while that is powered off as well and unplugged altogether. So uh, I can't wait to see if this will work. I, I really hope it does, honestly, for the sake of my data. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's the drive pack, four drives. And uh, again, these are from the second generation Drobo. I'm going to stick them into this first generation Drobo. One by one. The Drobo is powered off, and I know I, I can't harp on that point enough. If the Drobo is powered on while you do this, it will wipe the drives. It will assume you're just trying to increase capacity. So make sure it's always powered off. just checking to make sure that all of them are seated properly. Which they are. And I'm going to plug it in. Actually first, no, I'm going to connect the USB cable first. This is a first generation Drobo, so it's a USB only one. Okay, USB connected. Now I'm going to plug it in. It's plugged in and now it's uh, hopefully reading those. So let's see. booting up. I can hear their hard drive spinning up. Gosh, I hope this works. Seriously, I don't want to lose my data. Okay, it's checking capacity. Right, it seems to be booting up the way it normally does. Huh. <laughs> Felix now is not the time. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> it appeared on my desktop. Good. <laughs> Felix, baby, what do you want? You've gotten fed. Let's see. Yes. What is it? You silly thing. Yeah, how my data is there. Oh, good. Okay. It worked as advertised. Thank you, Drobo. Okay, so uh, it booted up properly, and uh, as you can see, it's here. I haven't lost my data, so let me just uh, I will check to make sure. There we go. That's the Drobo where I just inserted the drives. It's the Drobo USB now, first generation Drobo. And yeah, I've got my data, so it's it's awesome. 